Hey y'all, it's your old buddy Gerald here, buzzsprout.com, Gerald's Restoration. Um, hey man, tonight I want to uh, talk to you folks about my Morley volume pedal. Okay, um, now you guys have seen me with it before, actually in the last video that I did, showing my Morley, um, you know, about how that that's what I use for a volume pedal that I don't use uh, the knob, the volume knobs on my guitars or whatever and it just keeps the clarity of the uh, of your tone so you don't lose any high end or any of that rich sparkly sparkly stuff okay um, so the idea of the Morley is to do that because every other volume pedal that you buy on the market you know like Gorilla or whatever all that other junk they've got volume pots in them just like the volume knob on your guitar okay and you turn that down it's going to allow the it's going to affect the sound of the guitar the pickups okay so yeah it all it's all gone to pot that uh, Willie Nelson talks about <laughs> okay um, but the Morley volume pedal it uses optical sensors it uses technology it doesn't use volume pots it uses LED lighting it allows the light to pass through and that's what gives you the the uh, the same effect when you push down or push back up on that pedal so you roll off the tone so you roll off the volume of the Morley it won't it'll keep the high end and I like to use it when I'm doing my pedal steel emulation so when I play a note I'll just push down on the pedal with my foots okay foots <laughs> okay I'll push down on the pedal with my feet and I'll let you guys hear this thing real quick. And I'm going to talk to you about the mod. Uh, should you get one of these? Because I've actually talked about the mod before a little bit, but not really how to fix it. Because Morley, they just don't care. They're douchebags and idiots. Because they don't care about the customer. They say, F the customer. Uh, Scott was on the phone with them one day, and he said, and uh, one of the representatives told him, said, F the customer. Okay. So that, my friends shows you that they're only out about he said nobody else has complained that's because everybody else that has a Morley or whatever they're idiots because they just like okay well you know nobody else has complained that's because nobody's ever noticed okay um so you know you need to pay attention to the small details but mine now I have a mini Morley okay now the Morley PVO volume pedal is probably the is one of the pedals that this happens to. All the Morleys are like that. Um, because it's got a little slit thing in there. So when you push down on it, push think of pushing down on your gas pedal and uh, you're not getting any throttle. The throttle throttle cables broke or whatever. Okay. So it's not doing you any good. So I can push down, push down, push down, and when I get to the end of it, boom, it's there. So it's like rolling off it's just like, okay, well I'm gonna turn the volume all the way up on my guitar. Okay, hey, I've got the volume off. Okay, I'm not playing. Oh, I know why. <laughs> but anyway, you want a good response when you push down on that pedal. When you start the slightest push pressure on that pedal to push it down, it should get louder and softer. It should be steady, not wait till you get halfway down to the pedal and then boom, it'll go. It'll it'll start giving you volume. Okay, but there's a little slit thing in there, and I'm going to show you guys how you would want to cut that out. Basically when you take the mini Morley apart or the Morley apart period you'll see that the photoelectric cell and all that stuff okay in there but you'll see two black little holes you'll see two black things and there's two there's a hole cut in each one and they got kinda of like a little slit thing kinda of like a hammer you know you got the long shaft and then you got the hammer thing on the end okay basically you want to flatten that out like a triangle okay so like this, like a V, like somebody giving you the peace sign, like this right here, okay, not here, and then boom, it gets like a big mallet, okay, like a block, okay, and like I said, I'll show you what that looks like in there. I've never done this to my Morley, but it's not bad. Around three, around when it gets on to about three or so, it'll really start to kick in, so almost five, but it's not bad, but I need the extra one two in there in order to make it sound right because it kind of doesn't give me all the low end of what I'm talking about okay so this right here is my is my mini Morley okay 
Yeah, I guess it is plugged up. No, it's not neither. Okay. This right here is my Mini Morley. Okay. And mine is not spring-loaded. Now, some of these are, are spring-loaded. Okay. Like this. But see, I can put that pedal right where I want to. I can put that pedal right where I want to, right here. And it'll stay there. Okay, so it's kind of think about a teeter-totter. You know, when you're going seesawing back and forth, that's how this is. It's not spring-loaded, and that's the beauty part about it. Some of them are spring-loaded, um, but I don't want a spring-loaded because I'm always doing something. Because I'd have to hold that pedal down all the time to, in order to use that. Okay, so this one right here is one thing that I love about my Morley. Okay, by golly, we got, we got sound now by George. Okay. Now this is how I would use my pedal, okay? It's all the way off, and now whenever I get ready to, to play, I'll uh, turn it on. I'll just push it down with my foot, okay? wide open now I'm gonna back off of it see it's not all the way down and I lost it listen to when it starts okay I've got it about the three it's almost halfway there so between here and there so between about one and three there's nothing there it is it's not a constant leading on in leading into it okay but the best part about that is when you back off of that volume on the Morley the high end doesn't go away now listen to this when I turn my volume knob down on the guitar Now let me turn it all the way back open, wide open on 10. Here you get the full benefit out of it. Okay, yeah, you get that full, you get the sound of it. Um, okay, so it's amazing that it doesn't do that but you back off of that volume knob yeah you're gonna lose it now watch me back off of the volume with the Morley you, you still hear that high-end clarity man that is the Morley the Mini Morley. No other volume pedal on the market will do this but Morley. Okay, so there you go. Um, so the volume is wide open. I don't use a volume knob. And a lot of people will take like if they're in... Uh, full shred humbucking mode or whatever and they back the volume off down a little bit and uh, about like P90s or one of the big ones um, they'll play light but they're still in distortion but it's light okay and then when they turn it back wide open they're full bore <laughs> okay um, so that's not me, and I realize that people do that. And, you know, I don't have a thing against P90s. I like P90s, okay? And, but, you know, people use what they use, and that's groovy. It works for them, and no complaints, you know, for me. You play what you like, but I'm, but I'm here to tell you what uh, the, there is a better way. But obviously, if people want that sound like that, well, then that's groovy. Playing guitar is about how you do it, folks, not how I beat you to death and tell you how to do this or whatever. But I'm here to tell you what the best option, what the best pedal on the market is. This one and the Boss CS3. Okay, so that's pretty much easy that you can 
you, how that pedal works. It's, it's a real piece of technology. Now I want to show you the mod. Basically, inside that Morley, you've got optical sensors and all that and the LEDs, photoelectric cells, what we call it. And there's a little, there's a black, there's two black things in there. Okay, there's two black things in there. And basically, they're, they got holes cut in them, which allows the LEDs to pass through the signal. And when you push down on that pedal, that's how that hole is cut is going to determine how well responsive that pedal is going to be. You understand? So, um, in a nutshell, if uh, here right here would be the initial cut. Okay, you guys see this right here? This is how the initial hole would be cut. Okay, I know it's kind of hard for you all to see. Okay, but you uh, push down on that pedal. Nothing, 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 nothing. And when you get to the end, boom, it just goes to 10. It's there. It's wide open in your face. So you'll have to take a screwdriver to go in there and whittle that out to where it's going to look like a V. So when you push down on it, it'll get louder, not softer. Okay. So basically, it's going to look like this right here. Now this mod, now this drawing here is not that, is not that well. But I'll do it this way. You'll be able to see it better. But like this right here. You see that? You start right here, you start right here, and then you'll cut that hole like this. So think about it. When you so look at it, when you push that volume down, it's going to get louder on one, and it'll go all the way to ten. Instead of like that little slit thing, instead of like this right here would be. That's what you're not getting when you buy this thing. Now, like I said, mine's not bad. Mine will go to about three, and then it'll start getting up there, but it could be better. But, you know, I've gotten used to how to use it over the years, um, and that's the thing to know. You know, Morley does not care about fixing this problem. It's a really little simple problem that wouldn't take them two minutes to fix. And, you know, it's not like wiring pickups, so for those of you guys that do that stuff, this will be easy. Just take, take it apart. Take the top of it off, take take it all, take it apart, and do the mod, and take your screwdriver or whatever and go in there and whittle that them holes. And, and then when you push down on that pedal, you'll get full range of motion. Okay, it won't be thinking about it until watch this. So between here, man, I got all the playroom. You know, it's just like taking a play out of your stern wheel. You know, dude's gotta fight it this way, fight it this way. Uh, um, this one group I was with, the driver was constantly fighting the wheel like this, turning it this way. You know, it's not like this. That wheel, you could take that wheel on that bus and jiggle it. I swear to you, sure, sure enough. So you want to make sure that it's very responsive. Push down, and it'll get louder instead of halfway and then get there. So that's pretty much the whole mod of how to do that. Okay, it's real easy. You'll see two black, you'll see two black things, and it's got a hole in it. It's kind of white. Okay? And then you'll see how that's cut. Okay? It needs to be like a V. Okay? Like I said, I was showing you those for as an, for examples of how that will come looking. So you guys want to take that mini Morley apart or the PV or whatever, cuz like I said, some of those are spring loaded, but this one here is not spring loaded. So that means I can you know, I can take it and I can just like a seesaw and it'll stay there. I don't have to worry about pushing it down and it come back up like a gas pedal. It'll stay right where I put that sucker and it'll stay there all night. So I don't have to touch, you know how some people say, you're too loud, you know, and you have to go, go way over here on the other side of the stage and turn down your amp. Hey, I can turn down my amp right there with the Morley. And that is one of the biggest things to use this with. This is one of the biggest reasons. So if you guys, and now you don't have to do the mod. You don't have to do that. I'm just telling you, if you want to get the full benefit of how to use it like I do with the, you know, like with my uh, Pedal Steel Country licks and stuff that I put in my gospel music, brother, um, that's what I, that's what you would want to do. But I use this primarily for a volume control. So if somebody says, you know, you're too loud, or whatever, or like if we're going to be doing an altar call, or if they're doing an altar call, and well, the musicians we want to play a little softer. So guess what? I can back off off that Morley, and guess what? 
I don't have to turn down my amp while everybody's turning down their amps. That is a big plus where this thing shines. Okay. And we're talking about a noise gate. You know, here's my Behringer NR300. Well, if I can find it. Oh, down here. Okay. Okay. This right here will do a little bit, chop off that noise. But when I get done playing a song, like on stage, I'll just turn the pedal off completely. And then I won't have to have that worry about that. While everybody else is humming, my guitar will be quiet as a church mouse. And yours will too if you get the Mini Morley or whatever. This is the best pedal on the planet. That and the, and the Boss CS3. But me and my buddy James, we was going back and forth on Twitter. And I was telling him about the Morley and everything. He was wanting to know how to do the mod. And my buddy Donald, a lot of you other guys were wondering about the mod. Well, that's how you do it. So it's really easy. So just go in there and whittle that out to like a V, and uh, then you'll be able to tell the difference. If that's how you want to use your pedal. Like I said, you don't have to do that. But to get the full benefit out of it, you'll want to. Like I said, I've gotten used how to do it over the years to where it's just not a bother. Um, you know, and I should do the mod, but, you know, I'm just, I, know how, I know how to use it. If you know how to use it, if you know how to do it, that's all that matters. Okay, but yes, Morley are idiots, and they just blow royally. Because if to tell the customer to go F their self, I'm sorry, but that's just not, you know, just like Roland or Boss. Okay, customer service really stinks, folks, just depending on which company you go to. But anyway, so your old buddy Gerald here, take these... Uh, for what they are, and uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. And my buddy James, your presence on the way, my buddy. I got it in there. Going to be wrapping that sucker up tonight, my man. <laughs> uh, that's right. Um, I'm uh, sending him my uh, Boss CS3 compressor for Christmas. So, but don't worry, dudes. I got uh, I got another one on the way. It should be here soon with my Zoom G1. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Zoom G1 Exxon pedal. But I'll talk to you guys about that later. So James, my buddy, um, I want to mail that puppy out in the morning there, boss man. <laughs> so you guys be groovy. Um, your old buddy Gerald here, buzzsprout.com, George Restoration. Play guitar and leave the tabs alone, and I'll catch you guys on down the road. Bye-bye, folks. Let me know what you think.